And when I left you, we had figured out FCD and FCE. And I remember I originally made this assumption, but it was wrong because I was thinking of the truss. I'm not looking at the truss right now, but the truss. That wasn't the center point of the truss. C is not the center point of the truss. So FCE equals 4.33 for each side. And now that we figured out all this, let's go back to, let's go record it like we had been doing on the other sheet. So let's look at it again. It's FCD equals 2.6 and FCE equals 4.33. All right. So F CD equals 2.6. And that was in tension, I believe. Yes, they're both in tension. And then F C E equals four point three three kips in tension as well. Alright, and remember this since it's loaded, it's symmetrical, the other and the and the uh, links and all the dimensions and it's loaded symmetrical. The if you look at it like that, everything is loaded the exact opposite on the mirror side. So we don't even need to go about that. You could just say, okay, F D E equals F C E. We could even write it out there, but I don't have enough room. Um, and then F the force of C E F equals the force B C. And the force of DF equals BD, the force of FG equals AB, and then the force of EG equals AC. And hopefully that makes sense to you. We just mirror it over and everything equals the same. All right, so we have all the, the forces in the entire truss. All the interior, we have all the interior forces there. Now, what we want I want to show you, and this is what I said would blow your mind, which is not going to blow your mind, but hopefully it'll give you a little bit more intuition as to what is going on in this truss. And what is going on is there is a what I what, what is called a force couple going on. And that's that's kind of how a truss works. For instance, if you have a truss like this, that's it right there. A truss like that. This top cord and the bottom cord are kind of are going to act together, you know, to make a forced couple. And you can look at it like, okay, I'm going to take the f the moment. What is the moment about this point, or what is the? And it's resisting the moment in the in the truss. I'm, I'm not maybe explaining that the best, but. That, that's what's going on. There's going to be a force couple, and I'll show you exactly what I mean. And you can actually pick out that force couple and match it up with this moment diagram. For instance, let's cut it at let's cut it at D. Let's pretend we we cut this at D, and we're going to take a look at the force couple. So we have CE times 8.66 foot. So let's say the moment equals, we have, we're going to sum the points about D, and then we have CE going, it's in tension. So it's 4.33 kips times 8.66 feet. And we get 4.33 times 8, 4.33 times 8.66. It is about 37.5 foot kips. So what, what you're seeing is, oh, well, shoot. This force times this distance equals the max moment, the moment at that point. Like, oh, well, that's neat. Let's see if that works for other places. And you'll find out that it does. If you want to take the, the sum of the moments about B and cut it right there, well, you have, if you're summing about B, you will have AC times 4.33 feet. AC equals 6.93. What about B? 
and this is at what seven and a half feet and we we know that it should be 30 foot kips let's see if it comes out that way you have AC right AC equals 6.93 kips that's kips it's kind of messy let's just erase and do it over again kips times as we said it's not 7.5 it's 4.33 feet and that equals 6.93 times 4.33 30 and that's what we said hey that's what we wanted all right at 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 7.5 foot that's what it equals that's the moment so as you can see, this is work. The truss is working as a cu moment couple, and you can also look at to give a little bit more insight in here. You can look at it a couple as in let's cut it right here. So we're we're looking at a couple, and let's let's actually I'm gonna do it in pink. We're going to cut it right here, and we're gonna sum it about that point. Let's do it at let's say x equals three. Let's make this x x equals three foot. Let's give them some zoom down here and get a little bit more room. So we have a here. We have four kips. We have AC. force of AC equals what? I believe it said 6.93. Yeah. AC equals 6.93 kips. And then AB equaled what? 2.6 in compression. So we were wrong. Well, I was wrong, not we. You had nothing to do with it. I was wrong when doing that. So I'll fix my mistake and I'll put it going down this way. And we said in this was eight kips in compression. So when we break those into your components, what is we, we want to find the force couple right here? Actually, where were we? We're about right here. Let's say. And you're looking at it. You want to say, let's tell you what. Let's let's take the moment at halfway between that. So we were at what? Three foot. Let's find out what the the y dimension is, and you're, if you're doing that. So we had f the slope is four. Let's figure out what the m, m moment at m x equals three is. So let's figure this out. We have four to x, four kips times x, and that should be it. So our x is three. So four times three foot should be 12 foot kips. That's what our answer should be. Let's see if we get this to be 12. Now we got to break this into components. You're going to have this component and you're going to have your down component, right? Let's 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 go ahead and throw it over here. You have the 8 and that's your hypotenuse. There you go. And what was our angle? I believe it was 30 degrees. All right. So let's say this is going to be what? 8 kips cosine of 30. And this is going to be 8 kips sine of 30. We've already figured these out. You can just go back and see what they were. But my obviously my notes are a little bit wacky. This is 6.93. And what's the other? 8 sine 34. So we, what we were wanting to do is we were wanting to look at this. Remember, because this is going to induce a zero moment because it's going to be running straight through where we're cutting it at. So we're cutting it and we're summing it about this point. So this equals 6.93, which should make sense. 
So the sum of the moments is going to equal, actually the moment at this, we don't want to do the sum of the moments, the moment here, this forced couple, the, su the moment will equal 6.93 times your distance, which your distance is, what do we say the distance is from here to here? Well, at three foot, three foot x, it should be, I'm just confusing myself now. <laughs> So let's let's get let's go back to we had thirty and thirty degrees. We're saying this is three foot, and we want to find this dimension right here. So it's tangent of thirty equals opposite, which we're looking for over adjacent. So it's going to be three tan thirty. Three tan thirty equals one point seven three feet. So x equals one point seven three feet. So 6.93 times 1.73 feet should equal 12 kips. And it does. And I know this, this moment right here equals 12 kips. And hopefully that makes sense. You don't really sum the moments. You figure out what the moment is. <laughs> and I, I know that's not the most intuitive thing in the world. But when you cut things, you just take the force couple, which is going to look like this. For instance, 6.93. And you kind of put this in between them, kind of like a moment arm. And this is 6.93 kips. And this distance is 1.73 foot. So you just look at the distance. You could actually sum it about here, or take the moment. I'm not going to say sum the moments because that might you might say, oh, well, we, we need to include this. You're just looking at the moment at the cut. And the moment at the cut is going to equal what, what you have on the moment diagram. So you could take 6.93 times what's one half of 1.73? It's zero point half of this right here is 0 0.865 foot. So 6.93 times 0 0.865. If you're looking at the moment right here, and then you can actually take that again because you have this moment. This is going to do some moment. That's going to do some moment. Plus another 6.93 equals 12. And I know this is getting a little confusing, and I'm running low on time and a little low on space, so it's getting a little jacked up. But what I was trying to show that anywhere that you look at this truss, this is you're going to have an x component and an x component, and that's going to make a force couple. That's called a force couple. And that is going to equal, that forced couple is going to equal your moment on your moment diagram right here. And you might want to just take a quick look and, and do that a few times. Prove to yourself that that's what it equals. And remember, you'll have to figure out this, and this is your slope. So if you start right here, you say, okay, well, I want to figure out at 16 foot, which is right here, you can say I have 37.5 foot kips. My slope is negative 1. So I would say, if I want to find it at 16 foot, which is x, say x equals 16 foot, then you say 37.5 foot kips, and then minus, your moment's going to equal 37.5 foot kips, minus 1 kips, 1 kip is your slope, times x, which is, from this point is 15, that's 1 foot, so it would be one more kip. So you'd have actually 36.5 foot kips. Cut it right there, figure out your components, and actually you don't even need to do that. You would just take, you could say, oh well, you know what, the same as having two directions is taking it, taking it like this about the middle, or taking it the moment about just one thing and making it, it, it can sorry Liam's crying and I'm uh, <laughs> about ready to go to church but taking it about there you'll you'll see that CE times that distance should equal 36.5